Alright guys, we're back with another video. So this one is obviously Lilo, Stitch, and Angel. It was, I thought, going to just be Lilo, or um, just Stitch. Here are the simple shapes. Um, I had to speed this up quite a bit because I think I spent like two hours almost drawing this. <laughs> Whoops. This mobile got a little crazy. So I start with the big shape for the head and the big crazy ears that Stitch has. Get his little zigzag hair on the top. I'm drawing the third one down on the left where he's pulling at his eyes because that's how I feel right now and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person feeling cooped up and crazy. But just trying to do some fun stuff to feel a little less crazy. And one of my favorite things, obviously, <laughs> is drawing. So here I am drawing another picture for you guys and making another video. So again, you can probably tell I always start with those simple shapes. I haven't started on the right hand yet, but it is just a big oval or stretched out circle over there. Just kind of a placeholder. And there I am starting on those fingers. Hands and fingers especially can be kind of difficult to draw. Stitches aren't so bad here because they're really just like little sausages, little uh, curvy rectangles. So they're not that bad, but when I do um, Lilo's towards the end of this video, oh my goodness, I erased them so many times. But it's just all about practice. doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for fun, just for practice. So don't stress out. Kind of almond shape for his eye. Shading in the eye some. This is probably my favorite stitch picture. <laughs> um, I think it's really funny. I see it all the time. Um, it makes me laugh. It's just like, ugh. <laughs> Do any of you guys feel like that? Maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys are all fine. Hopefully you're fine. Hopefully everybody's doing good. I miss you guys a ton. It stinks not being able to have you in class right now. So a lot of the time when I am drawing, I am constantly cleaning up lines and going back over things. So it doesn't have to be perfect from the very start. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna it's gonna take frustration. I've had a few students that um, say that their art looks terrible, and just just don't don't beat yourself up too much. Like it's just like anything else. It's gonna take some time. I was actually really excited about how my lines came out on this one um, because usually my line work is not this clean <laughs> so I was pretty happy about that now with this one I I colored it the same way I usually color for you guys um, just on the same layer coloring right into the lines that I already drew um, I don't do that with the uh, angel that I draw in a minute or the Lilo um, to speed this up so it wouldn't take even longer than two hours, I actually do color the coloring a little differently. Um, I kind of wish I'd done it with this one because when you are coloring like this, at least in Photoshop, it kind of goes over the top of your lines and you lose them. So with the way I'm going to color in a little while, I'm coloring like right underneath the lines. It's called a different layer. 
Um, but it, again, the moral of the story, the important part here is just making sure that you're not doing any scribble scrabbly coloring, that you're staying inside the lines, or if you go outside those lines that you are cleaning it up. I know some of you guys don't have colors, um, so you don't have your crayons or your markers or colored pencils, and that is fine. You can always just use pencil and shade some. If you aren't going to shade any, I really want to see that your lines are super nice and clean, because you're, you're not doing a step that uh, everybody else is. You're not doing the coloring or the shading you're just stopping at line work so I really want to see that your lines are super clean if you're not doing shading or coloring so just make sure you're spending about the same amount of time now in this video you're gonna see that I draw Lilo and Stitch and Angel and I'm probably gonna have to um, type it in the description you don't have to draw all three like I said at the start of the video, I went a little crazy, I was having fun. <laughs> um, you can just draw one, you could draw just Lilo and Stitch, you could draw just Stitch and Angel, you could just draw Angel. <laughs> just make sure you're drawing at least one of them and that you have a decent amount of details. I am seeing some submissions that are small drawings and I know every single one of you have heard me say draw it big so you don't get away from that just because we're doing distance learning <laughs> make sure you're drawing big guys you don't have to draw it huge but make sure that you're drawing it big enough that you can get some of these details like the, the biggest issue if you're drawing teeny tiny, it's going to be a lot harder for you to color it in because those shapes are so small, especially if you're using a crown. The tip of the crown is so much bigger than your pencil, so it's going to come out really messy looking when you're coloring. So you need to make sure that you're drawing it kind of bigger so you don't have to worry about that. I think I'm just finishing doing some finishing steps here cleaning up a little bit and I'm pretty much done with stitch here I add a little a little bit more softer blue lighter bit of blue I kind of wish I'd gone over his lines like I did there a little bit more um, but he still came out pretty nice looking I like how he came out. He's so silly. <laughs> so I make him a little bit smaller so I can fit in another drawing and here I start on Angel. So again kind of a gumdrop shape for the head. It's kind of an oval or like a really chubby a triangle, a really curvy triangle. One of the things with, um, honestly, with both Stitch and Angel, they have basically the same shapes. Like they're just different colors. Um, and Angel has those weird little antennae things, but they're very similar. So if you can draw Stitch, you can definitely draw Angel. So again, little placeholders, ovals and circles are usually my go-to. Um, just little shapes to make sure I can get everything in there where I want it to be. She almost looks like this pose is kind of like a, taking a selfie. <laughs> she 
should have added that in. I'm only just thinking about that now. But if you want to do that, go for it. I've seen some people that they're just doing um, like a little drawing and not adding anything else. If you guys want to add other things, go for it. Be creative. Like where, where is Stitch? Where's Lilo? Where's Angel? Like what's going on behind them? Are they in the park? Are they in a spaceship? <laughs> Are they on the beach? So you're welcome to add like a little scene for them to be in. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that have been doing things like that, which has been really exciting. So here I'm about to start coloring and you're going to see that um, the way that I'm coloring on this one and the next one, I don't have to worry about cleaning up my lines nearly as much. So there it is. Um, it's just filling in those shapes. I like this way because I can be, a I can go a lot faster. Um, and it's a lot easier to clean up. <laughs> Just make sure that you are staying inside your lines. If you go outside the lines, you can always make your um, color go a little further out. Um, make the area a little bit thicker or bigger. Um, it doesn't, like, just make sure that you're keeping it kind of clean looking. Accidents are fine so long as you try and fix them. I really enjoyed drawing and coloring her a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> this might be my most fun, um, most favorite video so far. <laughs> or most favorite drawing to do for you guys. For these guys, I didn't really get into shading all that much, so I did a little bit of like those white parts on her, um, on like next to her mouth and a little bit on top of her nose, and then like the fluffy part on her chest, but like there's not really any highlights. Um, if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. I'm trying to keep it, or trying not to let it get too crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I ended up doing three, so probably did get too crazy. So sizing them up so they're about the same size, getting myself a little extra room down here so I can start finally on Lilo. Lilo is a lot of curvy shapes. Um, curvy shapes are usually seen as more friendly, so... A lot of times you're gonna see a lot of curvy shapes in Disney characters that are the, the good guys at least. So kind of a big circle for her head. She's got a big head. <laughs> kind of ovals and circles for the hands. It took me a while to draw her hands. I was struggling. I need to practice more. Disney always has like these really cute chubby fingers and I loved how angels and 
Lilo's uh, fi or Angel and Stitch's fingers came out and hands, but it took me a while with Lilo. So simple shapes are a very, very good thing to use or connect the dots like I did with that eye there. Anything that makes it easier for you to draw is good in my book. <laughs> so I got the eyes done. I wanted to make her mouth a little, cur a little more curved there. I don't know if those are feathers or leaves on her shirt, but wanted to make sure to add them. Need to move it a little so I can give some room for the top of her head. And here come the hands. I think it's the one on the right that I, yeah, the one on the right I struggled with for a while. Now that this is sped up so much, it's probably not going to even look like it takes that long. I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> didn't like that, didn't like that. So yeah, if you guys are struggling with something, don't worry. I mean, obviously I struggle on things too. It's just, you gotta hang in there. Sometimes you just have to say, you know what? That's good enough for me. And I'm pretty sure that's how I ended up settling. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's fine. That's good enough. I do not like that little pinky, but it's very pointy. <laughs> But I don't think I, I don't know if I really even go back and mess with it anymore. And finally we are on to the coloring. Filling in her black hair. I know Lilo and Stitch, um, and Angel even, have been huge requests. So I have been taking, um, I have been doing things that people have asked for in that questionnaire uh, that I put out at the very start of our distance learning. So that is what I have been going off of. I'm not just making up random things. I know, I think our next one will probably, or one of the next ones is probably going to be Dragon Ball Z because that has been very popular. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to draw Goku or Vegeta, I'm not sure. If you're one of the bigger kids, I think I'm about to do a video on horses because Horses and unicorns have also been a huge request. And we are just about done, adding a few more cleaned up lines, finishing touches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember it is sped up, so don't stress out. <laughs> Take your time, have fun, make sure you're just doing one drawing a week, and I will be happy. I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye, guys.